As you know, the Chevrolet Neva has a load-bearing body. Its weak points are the sills and edges of the rear wheel arches, which, from sandblasting and reagents, can bloom even on three-year-old pullets. In older cars, the doors begin to rust, so a lot of corrosion can be found under the plastic lining. Bugs on the hood cover a common occurrence even for very fresh cars. On older cars, brown bugs may appear on the tailgate near the door handle, or along its edges, where the metal touches the seals. And the metal sill under the trunk opening seal can rust even on one-year-old cars. Another body sore, sagging front doors. But the disease is treated with a repair kit made of copper bushings. A fatigue crack may occur along the left side member under the steering gear in older cars. Usually this happens on eusatiny specimens, and the first sign of trouble is a strong steering play. A characteristic breakdown of the heating system is the air damper control cables. They fly off, stretch, break. Because of them, it can be cold in winter, and vice versa in hot weather. The defect is floating, it may not open at all, or it may tire already with meager runs. Over time, the guide rails of the seats begin to rust, and the steering wheel peels off. A seat belt that gets stuck in the top guide due to dirt and dust affects comfort and safety. The instrument cluster backlight bulbs can be considered consumables, they quickly burn out. There, to consumables, we rank the front power windows. There should always be a set of refractory fuses in the car. Usually those that are on the cigarette lighter and heated mirrors and glass burn. Connoisseurs usually breed heating on different lines. A much more serious problem on older machines is burning brains. If the windshield is poorly glued, then the control unit dies from moisture falling on it. The electrical scythe that wraps around the front of the engine can short out. It is worth looking at the wiring from the generator, starter, and fans. Green Bloom? They drove through the Fords. The old 80 ampere generator manufactured by Zadi rarely runs more than 40,000 kilometers, and its strength is barely enough for all consumers. Whether it's a 110 amp Bosch electric machine on copies younger than February 2014, there are no problems with it. Due to the thin terminal and wires, the braid of the generator burns. Next is the contact itself, and then the diode bridge. Electricians recommend immediately changing the standard terminal to a more powerful one and installing larger wires. Then the generator will stretch up to 70,000 kilometers. Starter, the lower contact of the retractor relay may suddenly loosen. And do not try to tear off the intake manifold screen, the heat coming from it will hasten the death of the starter. Until 2006, whimsical ignition modules from twins, stuffed with electronics, massively failed. With the transition to the brains of Bosch 7.9.7 .7 and more reliable modules, the problem disappeared. The throttle body needs to be cleaned every 30,000. Otherwise, you will have to go for spare parts, a damper position sensor, and an idle speed controller. Even from dampness and dirt, the mass airflow sensor often dies. And it is noticeably more expensive than other sensors. With proper care, the Ziguli dinosaur easily moves away under a quarter of a million kilometers, but there will be minor mischief. The first is the timing chain tensioner, which for various reasons usually lacks oil. As a result, the chain begins to dangle and rattle. If you score on the rumble of an unheated engine, the chain will sooner or later break the damper. Its fragments will scatter through the oil channels and finish the engine or a loose chain will jump, substituting the owner to replace the valves and repair the head. It makes sense to replace the hydraulic tensioner with a conventional mechanical one. Moreover, both the check valve and the tensioner hydraulic line are very flimsy. And how many kind words the owners of Schniff said to those who installed hydraulic lifters instead of the usual adjusting bolts? Because normal hydrix began to be installed only in August 2008. There are also claims to the motor gland. The Ziguli engine, bored out for a larger volume, heats overheating. And if the arrow of the temperature gauge at least once crawled to the red zone, 
Then in the future, the replacement of the gasket has a maximum milling the head. An expansion tank will help overheat the engine. The quality of the plastic is below the baseboard and the tanks often burst. On older machines, pipes can also leak due to drying out of the rubber. Pumps are also not long-lived. They have been given 50 to 70,000 mileage. On machines before restyling, which dates back to the ninth year, the tubes of the air conditioning system often rot. On the restyled version, this is no longer observed. If the front passenger went warm under his feet, it means that the heater radiator ordered to live for a long time. Its service life is often four to six years. Surprise, on Schneiva without air conditioning, there are no special problems with replacing the radiator, but with air conditioning, you will have to disassemble the entire front panel. A rotting fuel line near the rear right wheel is also a common thing. Like a burnt intake and exhaust manifold gasket, Everyone also knows about gentle catalytic converters, which are barely enough for 100,000 kilometers or a couple of fillings with a palin. And the exhaust system is unlikely to stretch more than 100,000 kilometers. Clutch usually does not care for more than 60,000. And with off-road trips, only 30. Servicemen do not like the standard Valio clutch, offering sacks or craft, they are more reliable. Another would be to find normal cylinders, because relatives, both the worker and the main one, are still in ambush. Although the master cylinder of the new model is more reliable. The Zygielewskia gearbox is frankly weak, and by 50,000 it will probably begin to make noise, hum, and ask for a bulkhead. By this time, the bearings of both shafts are suitable, then, according to the scenario, the synchronizers and the fifth gear are replaced. Leaks. Crunching, knocking out gears are the eternal friends of the VAZ 5-step. When the box really gets it, it's easier not to deal with the bulkhead, but to buy a new one. Is there anything good in the transmission? Handout. She would have had better seals, and a dream unit would have come out. Cardans are also durable. They are of two types, on old machines, with indestructible crosses, and on new ones, younger than the 10th year, with CV joints. The second option has a slightly shorter service life. With the replacement of backlash crosses or CV joints, it is better not to tighten it, otherwise it will break the gearbox bearing. The gearboxes themselves live about 150,000 kilometers, but the seals look like they came from a recycling yard apparently, semi-axle bearings come from there which hold 40,000 kilometers. The axle shafts and the beam of the bridge do not tolerate jumps in pits and potholes, especially on large wheels. Strong blows disable the axle shaft bearing, and real masters of off-road jigging even bend the stocking itself during fierce diagonal hangings. Here the way out is to order a reinforced beam of the bridge. Wheel bearings require constant adjustment and lubrication, and they go the maximum of 50,000 kilometers the way out is to change the assembly to a reinforced one with IVEC double row bearings. From 2016, GM Aftavaz had to switch to new hubs with non-adjustable double row angular contact bearings. By the way, Aftavaz has already switched from its lot of 4x4. Jet thrust rear, mediocre quality. And often even the problem is not with the rods, but with the flimsy fastening bolts. They are cut off on serious off-road, especially if the car has large wheels, a reinforced rear axle and traction. And you don't always notice it right away. Then the most interesting thing, the rear axle, which has received greater freedom of movement, begins to walk more strongly, from which the car dan vomits. Scenarios are different. It can break a grenade at the CV joint. And in an ordinary one with crosses, it breaks out the shank. There are no serious chronic problems with the brake system. Age plays a major role here. On older cars, rubber tubes dry out from old age. In the 16th year, GM Aftavaz gave birth to a whole series of pleasant updates, not counting the new hub units. So, the clutch disc received a new torsional vibration damper, after which the box got rid of the characteristic ringing in neutral. The rear shock absorbers were equipped with elongated casings so that dirt no longer clogs under the cover. 
In addition, the casing fastenings were strengthened. The central wiring harness received a soft braid and compact pads. The clutch slave cylinder got a new rod, and the ball bearings got strong covers. In addition, a new German gearbox output shaft oil seal solved the problem of leaks. Apparently, a sharp drop in demand in those years prompted the company to finish the imperfections. The Italian brush assembly fell into the heater fan. And the seats, consider, have been completely redrawn. The headrests, anti-creak material between the filler and the frame were improved. All this appeared at the turn of the 15th and 16th years. At the same time, the sled was equipped with separators and amplifiers. In April the 17th, even more. The captain's chair was pinned with a height adjustment and a right armrest. And there was also an automatic low beam switch, an updated instrument cluster, and even a USB connector. And with air conditioning and a cooled glove box. Finally, in the LE configuration, the removed breathers from the gearboxes were installed. Previously, all this had to be done by the collective farm itself, as well as the normal multimedia, which appeared in series only a year ago. At the same time, the control unit was reflashed in order to improve elasticity and traction at low and medium speeds. If you know of other breakdowns or malfunctions, then tell us about it in the comments. Your review can help others when choosing a used car. Hi. There are enough claims to the electrician. Most often, the electronic total vehicle control system is buggy, the main control unit e -tax. For example, headlights or a cooling fan turn on without permission. Unfortunately, the module cannot be repaired and new firmware versions do not help much. Check if all the recall events were attended by the cars they were, basically, just for the electrical part. In 2014, a campaign was held to replace the unreliable control unit of the KOS keyless entry system. Under warranty, the windshield heating relay was massively changed. And cars manufactured in 2015, 2017, engines stalled due to the fault of the ECU relay problem modules began to be updated in 2018. At the same time, Melting electrical connectors under the driver's seat and an overheating negative battery cable became the culprits of the recall campaigns. Cars older than 2015 suffered from this. Crossovers older than 2015 with any of the engines at risk have a radiator of the cooling system flowing through the tanks. There have been many warranty replacements since 2016. Atmospheric 4's Mivic 2.0 and 2.4 are structurally simple and similar. The difference is in the cylinder diameter and piston stroke and in the presence of balance shafts in the 2.4 engine. And both units, built in 2005 on a joint Gemma platform with Hyundai and Chrysler, are generally quite successful by Mitsubishi. The chain in the timing drive, subject to the use of good oil and its timely replacement, can last no less than the motor itself. At least 250 to 300,000 kilometers, the Mivic variable valve timing system on the intake and exhaust is also not satisfactory. If vibrations appear at speeds slightly above the minimum idle, first check the condition of the spark plugs. On a run of 70, 90,000 kilometers, the exhaust system sometimes raises its voice. The reason is that the sealing ring between the converter and the collector burns out. The valve drive system of the 4B12 engine and its 2-liter counterpart does not have hydraulic lifters, so adjustment after 100,000 kilometers will have to be done manually. The 3-liter 6 Series 6B31, produced since 2006. The piston group lasts longer, at least 350 to 400,000 kilometers the motor was cured from turning the liners and where of the intake manifold flaps by the time it appeared on the third Outlander. You can recommend it for purchase. Although the V6 is much more voracious than the 4s and more expensive to maintain. Supports hold almost half as much, sometimes only 60 to 80,000 kilometers timing belt drive, when the teeth break or shear the valves meet with the pistons. And sometimes it is required to update it earlier than the planned 90,000 kilometers if oil gets on the belt, missed by the camshaft oil seals. 
After 120 to 150,000 kilometers, monitor the pressure in the lubrication system. Its decrease due to the fault of the oil pump adversely affects the necks and beds of the crankshaft. Camshafts and rocker arms. It is useful to know that the tapping of hydraulic lifters can also serve as a sign of loss of oil pressure. After 120 to 140,000 kilometers, the valve cover on the side of the engine shield may not withstand the temperature loads from the neighboring manifold, crack and start leaking oil. Converters are able to fail with a run of 150,000 kilometers and it's better not to drive with faulty ones for a long time. When destroyed, pieces of honeycombs can get into the cylinders. Since its introduction in 2005, the JF011E Variator has not gained a reputation for being reliable. Although it has become a popular replacement for hydromechanical automatic machines on many models of the Japanese, French, and Korean auto industry. On the third generation Outlander, the Variator no longer suffers from many childhood diseases. But, unlike the second Outlander, at first the Variator was installed without an additional cooling radiator which often led to overheating and failure of the bearings or seizures on the combs. And it was necessary to change the oil more often, preferably every 30,000 kilometers cleanliness in the lubrication system, in addition, allows you to move beyond the line of 100 to 120,000 kilometers problems with solenoids and the oil pump pressure reducing valve that hangs from dirt and wear. In 2014, during the first restyling, the radiator was returned. It was even installed free of charge by dealers during warranty claims with complaints about overheating of the variator. Only with normal cooling on 2-liter crossovers, the variator runs more than 200,000 kilometers. In order for the shaft bearings and pulley cones to last longer, and the valve body solenoids, together with the pump pressure reducing valve, not to become clogged with chips ahead of time. In addition to the already mentioned attention to the oil, sharp braking should be avoided. Do not get carried away with intense accelerations and less jostle in tight traffic jams. The above is also true for the Jatco CVT of the new generation JF016E, which appeared in 2015. It is even more sensitive to the purity of the oil, although in general it walks longer than its predecessor. A mileage of 250,000 kilometers is quite achievable. The six-speed hydromechanical machine Jatco JF613 in versions with a V6 engine is preferable to a variator in terms of reliability. The box, developed in 2006, is not a model of promptness, but earlier 200 to 250,000 kilometers of serious repairs with an audit of the valve body and clutches rarely require. The main thing is not to overheat and often, every 50 to 60,000 kilometers, renew the oil. Plastic front panel and door cards are easy to scratch. Squeaks and clicks appear in power seat drives after five to seven years due to backlash. The sidewalls are dented and the seat upholstery loses its present ability and moves away from the bottom of the frame. Even dealers manage to fight with this disgrace, trying to fix the upholstery with ordinary plastic ties. The steering wheel braid is overridden by a mileage of 100,000 kilometers. Condensation stains remain on the upholstery of the ceiling near the lighting shades. Worn out for seven or eight years, the electric motor of the stove fan will have to be changed for its own. Do not rush to the service if the transmission selector suddenly refuses to engage gears and a warning about a malfunction of the 4WD drive is displayed. It's just that the Outlander will stop driving with a blown fuse for the reversing lamp. All-wheel drive transmission is usually not a hassle and is content with changing the oil every 60 to 80,000 kilometers and additional. Costs may require only after frequent overheating from slippage. Silent blocks of the rear multi-link suspension can reach up to 200,000 kilometers. In instances older than 2015, the rear wheel bearings are rather weak, sometimes they do not withstand even 80,000 kilometers. Much earlier, except that inexpensive stabilizer bushings can wear out. The integration of the parking brake mechanism into the rear caliper on the third Outlander, although it allowed to reduce unsprung masses, had a bad effect on reliability. 
for instance, is older than 2016, the handbrake either stops holding or wedges in 2018. The manufacturer even had to organize a recall campaign with repair or replacement of calipers. Shock absorbers, as a rule, step over the milestone of 100,000 kilometers, as well as ball joints of the front levers. Tapping in the steering with the Euro is not much to be afraid of. This is more of a design feature than a breakdown. Usually knocks do not progress. The manufacturer offers to change ball assemblies with levers. Although they can be completely repressed, a high quality non-original support will separately cost an order of magnitude cheaper. A failed center clutch will have to be replaced. And if, in addition, the outboard bearing wears out, you will have to buy a cardan shaft assembly. For all cars that regularly carry cargo in a bulky trunk, the rear springs sag thoroughly after 70 to 100,000 kilometers instead of the original ones. It is better to install reinforced analogs, you will also be able to save twice. If you know of other breakdowns or malfunctions, then tell us about it in the comments. Your review can help others when choosing a used car.